can't be the only one, right? Oh boy. Ooh, we're getting a nice cold start. Yeah, it's very interesting. I like this so far, though. Ooh. Oh, hello everyone. This is Charlotte, and today we're going to be playing uh, No Players Online. I don't really know a whole lot about this, but it's um, people are calling it a meta horror game on Itch.io. So, expect a lot of weird stuff. After the flag? More like let the flag fly away. Wow. Hmm, a game by... Adam Pipe? Hmm. Ah, oh, so that's the developer. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce that. Ooh, red means scary. With sounds by Victor Kraus. Ooh. Ooh, this is not... Yeah, this is kind of creepy. What was that? Very old school computer booting up. Yeah, this is really old. I think, like, yeah, this is like at least the 80s, early 90s. Yeah, this is very early 90s. A really old computer. Like, at least. Mid nineties, I'd say. Yeah, like early to mid nineties in that time period. Hmm. What if we just kind of? I'm just gonna try to put something in. Nope. What about the other one? Last login more than eight months ago. Sarah, last login more than eight months ago. John Mullard and Sarah. Well, what happened to them? Okay, we're just gonna put in some random numbers. See if it's right. Nope. Figures. Yes. Well, technically, we, we are a guest on this computer. Settings? Oh, okay, these are the actual game settings, okay. Text edit. Oh, okay. So, just to let you know, this is a demo. Um, I'm probably gonna stream it when it comes out, the full version. I don't know when that is. Okay, so this is set in like the early 90s. But, yeah, so this is probably going to be more useful when playing the, um, demo, the full version. Ooh, Minesweeper. I used to play this a lot. I was never particularly good at it, though. Sometimes you get really lucky. But you never really know when the mines are... Yeah, you just gotta be really careful where you click. 
This game is really luck based though. I got pretty close. Mm, I didn't beat the high score, but I came pretty close. Hm. Yeah, but you gotta be really careful in this one. Let's... World chat. Nobody online. Music player. We drag the needle? Nope. Okay. Ooh, dial up. Yeah, this is really old. Yeah, this is. Um, I'm very familiar with this sound, and I just. I think I might have just aged myself a bit. Yeah, I definitely just aged myself. Yeah, this is very familiar looking. What's in documents? Mind friend data. Mines? 20, okay. Home. Downloads. The home. Check pictures. It's probably for like screenshots and stuff. Hmm. Weather? News. Eh, the news is boring anyways. Who wants to read that? Bookmarks. Game create. Okay. We'll try that out. Rules and announcements. This is tips. Rules. Uh. Respect and courtesy. Please be respectful and polite to all members. Avoid personal attacks, hate speech, and offensive language. Treat each other as you would like to be treated. Content guidelines. Posts and discussions must be related to game development topic. Yada, yada, yada. Pretty normal. Ooh, did I just click the wrong? Yeah, I did. Oh well. Yeah, these are very old school style internet forums. Hello users, reply to this post with an introduction so people can get to know you. Please limit to one post and be civil. No advertising allowed on this post. I'll start. Sergeant Destroyer, not real name, bio. I made this website and I'm working on a space defense strategy game with realistic propulsion simulation engine written in basic. Likes Empire of Stars, definitely not Star Wars, not the remakes. Model building, Gundam. Velocity and intelligence, nerd. Oh, uh, no, 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 that's fair. Never mind. Huh? Let me do something else. Name. Alice. So cute. Good idea, Mr. Edmund. I love to do art on games. I love to draw kitties. Ooh, ooh. Let's take Let's make games. Likes. Read above. Nice to meet you. Ooh, ooh. John Mullard. Ex-researcher at Research Engine. Cult and esoteric belief history. Graphics engineering. You must own some interesting books. Parents Wilfrey. I'm a guitarist and vocalist from Austria. Jazz, bossa nova, punk rock. Yo, cool post. I am super dev, but you can call me Jason. Currently working on my game franchise and already 20% done. Check out my profile to see history in the making. Appreciate your feedback, not Jason, aka Super Dev. Hello, it's nice to e meet you. I'm excited to learn from so many talented people about me. Game Dev, Gabe. You can call me Gabe. 
by a loving dad of three born Phoenix, Arizona, beginner developer with a big dream. Hiking, fishing, meeting new people, all, all outdoors, man. Thank you for reading Game Dev Dave. Welcome to the rest of your life. Want to know what I'm talking about? Look at my post in the off topic. I'm making thousands every day from making games, and you could be making even more. Don't believe me? Find out by reading my post. You have nothing to lose. Best regards, Winston H. Richmond. That's what they tell you too about becoming a YouTuber. You're gonna be rich, have lots of money, and everyone's gonna love you. And then you spend all your money on YouTubing and you realize you're broke. Definitely not talking about me. Nope. No advertising allowed. Locked post. Good. Mm, oops. Put the wrong button again. Releases and tips. Hmm. Fishing with knives. Ooh, let's try that out. Download file. Typically these sites are safe, but you never know. But never download something from the internet you don't trust. All right, let's see what we're working with here. Hmm, how to play. I can't believe this. I can't believe you opened this. It's a simple game. Just play it. But if you're really a lost cause, here you go. Control keys to move, face to stab. Jason, something. Let's try it out. Ooh, this is cool. I like the music. We need money. Oh. Ooh, oxygen's running low. To buy more oxygen. Oxygen is running low again. Ooh, get back up. Ooh, okay, we can buy a new harpoon. Nice. Go, 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 go. Ooh, this is fun. I can eat all these. Okay, there we go. This is actually pretty easy. Alright, time to buy the new harpoon. Nice. I'm just gonna cause a little mayhem. Extreme. Don't care. Didn't ask. Super cool. 
Where can I download fishing with knives? Haha, <laughs> you're so stupid. There's no fishing with knives. And why is there a two in the title? My market analysis has shown me that people love sequels. Exactly. Hi, Jason. I like the game a lot. The explosions when you kill a fish are a really nice touch. How did you change the shop icons when a player buys something? Also, was it difficult to make the swimming animations? Was there a reason you chose four directional movement instead of eight? Looking forward to your reply. Too long, didn't read. I'm too bu busy building my franchise. Thank you for using my song, after all. Hope we can work together again in the future. Nice. What's the other one? Crack. 20 Summer Days English. New release. Hmm. My Love Survive Summer. New translation from the original Korean release. Is this a visual novel? We'll try it. Yeah, I think this is a visual novel. All right, let's try it. Enter a license key provided with the disc to authenticate game. Ooh, okay. You generate a serial. Um, five, five, six, eight, seven, nine, zero, one, five. Five five six eight seven nine zero one four. Okay, I can remember that. There we go. License authenticated. Thank you for your purchase. Nice. Press the space to advance dialogue. Ooh, it is a visual novel. 2nd of August, 1989. Yung Lee University. Sometime in the afternoon. Yep, this is a visual novel. Err. Why did I think it was a good idea to sign up for this summer program? My name is pa Park Song Lee. 23 years old. Overworked Korean school student. I'm a master student in the true sense of the word. I can't remember the last time I didn't have to attend some lecture or study for exam. And even though it's summer, I can totally relate to that because we, back in my school days, we had to do a whole bunch of crap. I find myself once again in the classroom because I'm an overachiever. Next summer, I should just focus on myself. Maybe get a girlfriend. I don't know. Go out more. Spend some quality time doing nothing for a change, just relaxing. Ah, oh, wait, I forgot, I have to write my thesis next year. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, those are worries for later. Let's try to first sit through this class first. Mr. Park, stop daydreaming and pay attention, says the teacher. Use the arrow keys to move the story reticle. When the reticle becomes yellow, Use the space bar to interact with the story element. Oh. There we go. Mr. Song is going over the same chapter we did last week. I think nobody has the courage to tell him. There we go. I think this guy is dozing off. Yeah, this is a really old school visual novel. Yeah, he's definitely asleep now. Can you blame him? Ooh, look out the window. Looks like it's pretty misty out. It will probably rain later. Guess it's still the season. 
Uh. I'm so sleepy. I shouldn't have gotten that dorm room. I'm always so it's always so loud there at night. At least it's nice and quiet here. Maybe I can just close my eyes for a little bit. Oh no, this is gonna turn into a horror cream game, isn't it? Wake up, sleepyhead. Nope. Misjudged. I think your class ended an hour ago, silly. Shoot. Did I just sleep through the whole class? Well, I don't know about you, but I'm heading out. You like to hang around in empty classrooms? That's your business. Ooh, I can name a lot of things you can do in empty classrooms. Who was that? I don't think she's in my class. She's kind of... Cute. Anyways, I should head out before it starts raining. Chung Lee Inter University entrance, 5 p.m. The cicadas drown out the sound of the road behind you. Stepping out from the air-conditioned building, you are hit with a sweltering humidity. Uh, kind of like it is down here right now. Luckily, the lawn in front of the entrance makes way for a small breeze. Damn, it's hotter than I thought. Can't wait to get home and take a shower. Yeah, shower um, with really hot days is really nice. I like to spend a long time in my shower. <laughs> Especially on the hotter days. I wonder who that girl was. Looks like she already left. She must have been in a hurry. Let's see what we can interact with. Oh, it's my buddy, Seo Jun. Hey, Sung Lee. What are you doing on campus? Miss school too much during your break? I could ask you the same thing. Huh, I took up a summer job at a coffee shop in a near, near campus. It's not too bad a pay, actually. Hmm, probably Starbucks does pay pretty decent from what I heard. I could really use a summer job, but I don't have time. My mom forced me into this summer program for extra credit. Damn, you're really, you're such an exemplary student, Song Lee. If you ever got a break from studying tonight, we're all hanging out at my place. You should come over. Ooh, maybe I will. What's up with the poster? Join the student council. Become a part of history at Jung Lee. So you organize events, raise funds for events, do administration. Ugh. Sounds to me like the university just wants you to do their work for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. A group of students are chatting in the shade. Hmm, maybe make a phone call? It's a pay phone. Make a call? Yeah, okay. You put in a 51 coin. Call who? Um... Young June. Beep, 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 beep. Yo, 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 this is Young June. I'm not here right now, but you can leave a message after the beep. Beep. I don't actually check my messages, lol, so don't bother. If it's urgent, just tell me when you see me. Sun June out. Oh no. I know those kinds of people. Maybe call mom? Crap. Let's see if there's anything else we can enter in. Head for your door? Yes. Man, I'm so tired. That nap didn't help at all. I'll probably get some coffee on the way to my dorm. Maybe I can try that place soon June works at. Best coffee shop. Starbucks. Totally not Starbucks. The coffee shop is a small, cozy place. Lots of these places 
Lots of these have been starting to pop up around the area. There's only a couple of customers sitting around, all speaking in hushed tones. Ooh, hush, hush. Hi there, welcome to Best Coffee. Can I help you? Oh, it's you. Getting some coffee, sleepyhead? Um... It's the girl from before. Oh, hey, yeah, I wanted to get some coffee. I mean, of course I did. I'm here, right? Man, get it together. <laughs> you're such a dork. What can I get you? That means she thinks you're cute. I'll get an Americano, please. American-style coffee. Iced or hot? Oh, um, ice, please. Wait, no, hot. <laughs> okay, one Americano coffee coming right up. She turns around and starts making the coffee. She's so cute. It's making me all confused. Can I ask her for her number? Yes. Be confident. Here's your coffee, sir. That'll be 2001. Oh, um, thanks. Here you go. Wait, I was wondering, um, do you have a phone? Of course I do, silly. How else would I call my friends? Anyways, I gotta take care of these other customers now. Have a nice day. Wait, um... Oh, uh, never mind. Guess I should head to my dorm. Ooh. Ooh, you're into music, huh? Here it is, my spacious dorm. Courtesy of my parents. I should maybe clean up a little. I can relate to that. Ooh, don't look at my room chat. Then again, it's not like I'm expecting company. Let's take a look at what we can interact with. Big pile of clothes are stacked on a bed. Actually, you're not sure there was a bed under it. Oh my god. Check out the computer? A desk with a computer on it. The computer is turned on. Let's turn it on. The computer screen turns on and it makes a bunch of beeping noises. A document viewer window appears after a while. The Great Novella by Park Sung Lee. My work in progress masterpiece. I've been working on it for a while now. Eh, your magnum opus, huh? I'm already half a page in. It's a guitar with a layer of dust on it. Bought this second hand from a friend. Still haven't played a single note on it. But I'm sure I'll get around to it eventually. Yep, eventually. I should drink my coffee before it gets cold. Wait, what's this? There's something written on the napkin. It's... The girl's number? Ooh, date time. I should tell... I should call her right away. Wait. I don't have a phone here. I'll have to head back out to campus and call her from there. Young <laughs> Lee University, 7.10 p.m. The campus grounds are quiet around this time. All the students have probably gone out to eat. Okay, I'm here. Time to make the call. Yep. You put in the coin and dial the number on the napkin. Hmm. Busy? Hello? Oh, not busy. This is Min He. Uh, hey, this is Song Lee. Who? I don't know any Song Lee. Oh, um, I'm the guy from the ca cafe. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. It's nice to hear from you. Uh, for a minute I thought you'd forgotten about me. I don't give my number out to just anyone, you know. Of course I remember you, silly. Hey, so tonight I'm hanging out with some friends at the dorm. I was wondering... Are you asking me out on a date? Well, duh. Well, yes, I think so. 
Oh no, boss fight. <laughs> you think I would go on a date with yet a dirty little thief? Uh oh. Trouble. It's true, I deserve no love. Why would anyone love someone who willingly downloads illegal software? Couldn't verify license. Please check serial provided with your copy. Remember, copying software without a license is theft. You gain no love, only prison. Oof. Bad ending. Oh, wow. Okay, close it out. Is there another one? Nope. Guess we'll check the chat room. I remember we got a friend invite on there. Hmm, who is this person? Alright, let's go. Thanks for accepting my friend request. I'm not actually typing this. Hey, who are you? Oh, I'm Quinn. I saw you online on the forum and decided to add you. I want to play a game with you. Okay. That sounds creepy. Yeah, it really does. No, no, no. Not in a creepy way. That is something a creep would say. Just like I... I... Don't really have any online friends. Alright, alright, fine. I'll be your friend. I mean... I used to, but they haven't been online for a long time. So, I've been looking for new friends. Hmm, okay. So, what game do you want to play? It's not a virus, is it? So, get this. I found this website with an alpha test for... Computer game. It's not a virus, is it? I'm pretty sure they stopped development on the game, but download link is still up, so we can play it. Ooh. Okay, I'm curious rather than cautious now. So it's just a simple shooter game. Hmm, let's see what he has to say. No, no, no. It's like a capture the flag game. Hmm? But I don't really care about the flags. I play for kills. So, wanna play? Uh, sure. Where can I get the game? I'll send the link. Oh my god. You guys, always be very careful about doing this. Especially from, like, people who aren't, like, doing this through, like, an official website or something. And you really want to be careful. You don't need a password on the room. Literally, nobody plays this game but me nowadays. Okay. Yeah, be very careful when doing stuff like this. Never download from a source you don't trust. But this is a horror game, and we're gonna make bad decisions. Uh, 
All right, time to boot it up. Thank you for downloading the alpha version. Don't forget to leave feedback on the forum. Note, servers may be unstable. Let us know if you are having trouble hosting the room. All rights reserved. Ooh, this is really old. Ooh, full screen. That's unusual. Roomless. No rooms to join. We'll just um, make a room, I guess. Oh, too long. That room size. That map. Only one map to choose from. Okay. Start room. Loading map. Ooh, it's very retro. Okay, so we gotta get the blue flag first within the time limit. Bow, bow, bam! Nice. Is it around here? Ooh, that's a steep fall. Yeah, that's a very big fall. You wouldn't want to do that. Mm -mm. Ooh, boy. This kind of looks like the map from the beginning of the game. Okay, got the flag. Let's go back. Oh, we got a sprint key. Okay, nice. Alright, there we go. Somebody joined. I hear music. Creepy old timey music. Coming from over here. Did I just see a shadow? I'm probably my magic. A record player. No music allowed. Things just got really creepy. I like old timey music though. Uh, that was just a joke. <laughs> oh boy. Guess we'll just make our way back. Alright, let's go. Is that another shadow? Oh boy, that was not good. That was really not good. Yeah, this is getting really creepy. I do not like where this is going. Where's the other player, though? He can't be the only one, right? Oh, boy. Oh, my God. That is scary. That's really creepy. Yeah, I don't like where this is going. Okay, get back as quickly as possible before the timer runs out. Okay, this is really weird. Uh-oh. The game crashed. Is it? Uh, sure. 
Hey, uh, your game just crashed. Development of the game has been temporarily suspended due to personal bereavement affecting our team. This feedback form has been closed. Well, that sucks. Um, this computer is cursed, isn't it? Yep, we should not have downloaded that game. Nope. Yeah, this is a real bad idea. Ooh, blue screen of death. Uh-oh. Yep. When that happens, uh, you might want to think about getting a new computer. Or it's just like, whopping out everything. Ooh, what's gonna happen next? Hmm. There we go. Um, okay. Hmm. Last login more than eight months ago. Let's try this. Um, uh, send. Oh, oh, never mind. Send. Um, men. Tall. There we go. Well, this is different. Creepy, though. Let's check the chat logs. Inuit Sabina. Okay. What is this? Any progress on the no-clip bug? No, it's incredibly hard to replicate. I'll check around and see if anyone recorded a video. Don't worry about it. Just move on to the other stuff. You can't replicate it. Alright, the concept art for the forest map should almost be done. Perfect. I'll get the meeting set up with the designer so we can start on that. Yeah. Thank you. Seems pretty normal. Marco B. Really like the alpha test, John. When you told me you'd do 3D graphics, I gotta be honest, I didn't believe you. I told you I could do it. You should stop downing me so much. I'm sorry. I, any plans for a release? Not too sure yet. We've gotten some good feedback from this alpha test. We just have to put that to good use. Alright, if you ever need someone to play with, shoot me a message. Seems normal still. Okay, this is the man that we contacted. Hey, I just wanted you to say I really like the alpha test of the game. Glad to hear that. If you discover any bugs, feel free to let me know. Hey John, how's development of the game going? Hey John, me and some other people are still playing the alpha version and are loving it. Can't wait for another official playtest. Nothing too out of the ordinary there. Winston. Hey John, it's Winston Richmond from House 
how to winstonrichmontain.org. I played your game and I am beyond impressed. Inuit's engine is miles ahead of the competition. 3D graphics, I mean, wow, just wow. Keep in mind, this was um, pretty cutting edge in like the early 90s and stuff, having anything in 3D. Let's sit down sometime in the future and talk about working together. I'm available this Friday. I'm also available this Friday. Hey, John, just checking back in with you. Maybe you missed my last message. We'll love to talk about what we can do for other for each other. Hey, John, I'll be out of office for the foreseeable future. Some government issues. For some reason, they're convinced I'm evading taxes. Ooh, the IRS is after you now. Deleted user. Hmm. Weird. Let's see here. Maybe we can try... Password does not match user John Dev. Uh-oh. Do list. Fix geometry missing. Schedule meeting to design ETF force. Plus update on progress since alpha. Hmm. I'll check his files. Alpha feedback. Update menu look. Navigation is confusing. Add jumping. More variety in gorge. Oh. cheat a little. No mines. Oh, okay. We can just do this. Yeah, there we go. Ha! <laughs> nice. What else is in here? Pictures. Hmm, nothing else. What is this exactly? Yeah, this is really strange. It's just a bunch of photographs, but... What does it all mean? Soul transfer. Infused notes. I created a game today that behaved unlike any I've seen before. The gameplay was much more abstract than usual. These two random games that have no story at all suddenly have a story to tell me. Highly unusual, possibly dangerous. Are the souls trying to communicate? Continue playing the aforementioned game and it transformed into a stone. The game crashed and the icon transformed into a stone right in front of my eyes. I'll do more research on this stone, but... It seems very stable. Combined games are always inconsistent and full of glitches, but this stone is calm. I could potentially use it to build my own engine on. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. These stones, before I only assumed they contained the stones, souls of the original games, much more than that. I 
think it's their pure essence. You can see the souls perfectly trapped inside the souls and their mechanics too. Read it a rudimentary version of that will be in the Infuse tab. I infused the stone into a simple game I made. It's unbelievable. Loaded up the game and it had all the stone's mechanics randomly placed throughout the game. With this, these souls created their own gameplay. Wow, that's really cool, but also creepy. Played around more of the soul essence. It's terrifying what it can do. We'll need to find a way to intercept the souls before they can alter the game if I want to create the game myself. Finished the custom engine and connected it to the infuse tab. I'm now able to intercept the souls before they get their hands on my game. For the editor, I can use the souls mechanics however I please. Notes or prototype. Further research showed me using the engine to intercept the souls and their mechanics destroys the soul in the process. It seems a game's soul can only exist without an external influence. The mechanics and visuals remain mine to use, which is the most important part. Confirmed that destroying a game's soul through my editor doesn't influence the original game in any way. Good thing otherwise a lot of games would have already been destroyed. I noticed older version of the CTF prototype have lost their soul, bringing a new version of the game seems to destroy the previous soul of the game. I need to research this. Notes and research. Today's marks the day I've stopped my research. I've completed the base for the CTF game. I infuse it with five stones, each containing mechanics, visuals, things I need to make the game. I'm getting married soon. I'd love to spend more time on what on this, but I'm creating exactly what I wanted. No use in playing with the souls any longer. Best to leave them to rest and give my game its own soul. What did you do? Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here. Extracted applications are unstable at best. Missing signatures, old applications are lost. Managed to open combined game crashes almost immediately. Combination of graphical assets causes visual art artifacts. Found a way to properly transfer graphical assets to new game. Only minor visual artifacts remain. Gameplay remains unplayable. Hmm. If two games with similar mechanics can combine, the game is somewhat playable. Notice that combined game graphics are more defined. Higher re definition? Possibly. Uh, pen tester can fill in gaps and brackets. Packets. Promising. Research more. What does that even mean? Transferring process games of... Games of different game genres can be combined successfully. Soul compatibility for not as important, perhaps not as important as I thought. Needed to upgrade CPU, sigil hardware, interfacing, games not completely playable yet. The first results are interesting. Hmm. Had the idea to increase compatibility by reinforce, reinforcing base with other souls using sigil. This will work even if fuel games have completely different soul signatures. Frame rate incredibly high, causing them delta transparency. Pencaster has more power than anticipated. Perhaps GPU only is too much. Hmm. Oh, I haven't read this one. Big breakthrough. Transferred the souls of two graphically intense games. I was able to create a game that has three dimensions, not the fake stuff. Real 3D. This is huge! Potentially pentaster method. Base for a game engine? I just need to find a way to create an engine of some kind to develop my own game on. A bit of packets might be a risk, though. Ooh, he's messing with some serious stuff. Manage to stabilize combined games. No more crashing. Edit and fusing to have to streamline sigil. Reinforcement will serve as possible base for my own game. Last update for a while while I focus on engine research. Hmm. Updated back into shaders. Updated back into improved loading times when starting up game. Nan geometry should no longer corrupt graphical assets. Edit and fuse tab only compatible with games running on sigil base. 132 or higher. What does that mean?
Network Institute, Department of Esoteric Research, Mullard, and Alt, um, 1963 to 1968. Note, this copy is intended for research purposes only. Do not distribute. Usage. Generate host, add two games as sources, press transfer soul. If games have enough similar souls, they will be combined. Requires sigil stars. What the? Infuse the tab usage instructions. Place the vessel game in the middle. Place a fitting stone in the correct slot. Press infuse. Soul essence from stone will be infused into the vessel game. Note, opening the game immediately will allow the souls to do whatever they want with it. It's best to open the game, the editor, and implement mechanics manually. Requires sigil stone. Huh. Interesting. Gonna download knives and fish. Check downloads. <laughs> All right, there we go. This takes a minute, like real life. Gonna extract these and we'll get this done. Try it. Okay, here goes nothing. What abomination are we gonna get? All right, fingers crossed. All right, let's try it. There we go. All right, let's give it a shot. It's nice to meet you. My name is Mine Friend. Oh my God, it's a minefield. A minesweeper dating sim. What the? My name is Mine Friend. What's yours? Where do you see yourself in five years? That's a weird question to ask on a date. That's more like a job interview. I'm a computer friend. My goal is to help you have fun. Okay. I'm sorry, but you're making me really uncomfortable. Whoops. Oh well.
Let's see if we can... All right, there we go. All right, let's try this. All right, this seems pretty creepy. I don't know what to expect with this one either. Go down. Ooh, careful. Ooh, jeez. Okay, no, no, no. Ooh, jeez. Is there any way? This is going to be a pretty tight fit. Okay, this is kind of tricky. These are pretty tight corners. Ooh, geez, geez, geez. no, 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 no. Oh my god, this is kind of hard. Yeah, if you're not careful, this will send you all the way back up on doing all your progress. Yeah, you gotta be really careful. Yeah, something really does not want us to go down there. What? Why was there barking all of a sudden? Uh-oh, that's really creepy. What the hell is that thing? Um, no, 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 no. Get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here. No, 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 no. That was really concerning. What was that thing? Um... Maybe try mixing the dating sim with fish and knives? Let's see what we get. Transfer soul. All right, let's see what this is. Bark, bark. Oh, it's space. Nina wants to go out. Should I take her? It's okay. I can take her for you. Let me just finish up this part real quick. No, please. I've been bothering you all enough all day. I'll take her again. I don't mind. But it's night out now. It's not really safe. I'll just go around the park. It'll be fine. Okay, but be careful. I'll make us something when you get back. Thanks, honey. Love you too. Aw, couple. Take Nina out for a walk. Yes? Fork. Fork, fork. It's darker out than I thought. Should I be okay? 
It should be okay. Bark. What's wrong, Nina? You see something? Bark. Bark. You're having trouble seeing where you're going. Keep going? Uh, it's a horror game. We don't really have much of a choice. Bark. Bark. You hear the still water of the lake. You notice you can't see Nina anymore. Keep going. This is an incredibly bad idea, but we're gonna do this anyways. You can't see anything. You decide to keep going. And this is how you meet your demise. Ooh, boy. Confuse? Okay, just gonna move this over a little... Down. And bring that back up. I guess there goes nothing. Confuse memory. Uh-oh. What have we done? Okay. Oh boy. I don't like where this is going. Gonna play the cursed version, huh? Nope, that doesn't even work anymore. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, this is really creepy. Okay, we gotta go quick. 5th of October, 1974. ETF Gorge? I'm unknown. Yeah, this is starting to feel more like an actual horror game. A thick sheet of glass is separating the player and the fish. Looking in their eyes, it's a sigh of relief. What's going on? The player remembers music. This isn't what they were expecting. If I'm being honest, I'd have liked so much I'd like some music. I didn't do this, of course. There's three of us here now. Well, four, counting you. 
At least we're up here. structure has sunk to the floor the player realizes there's an interfacing party interfering party nevertheless the player mat marches on towards the blue flag regardless of the circumstances the concrete halls are filled with renewed ambience full of water bridges an unfriendly gap feelings of sitting at the lake with friends stir up inside you Still, you can't ignore the other watching from across the lake. The other who? Wait, that's not where it was before. At last, the player reaches the blue base. The flag awaits them. Oh no, this is all wrong. I'll have a talk with the other one. He's... Hard to talk to. What's going on? The flag rests in an unfamiliar place. Why here? The player wonders. Sorry. I actually think there's no good reason. The other one is just plain messy. If it was up to him, the whole map would be underwater by now. Uh-oh. going on? Uh-oh. We no-clipped. Oh boy. What's that thing? Do something to it? I hope not. We gotta get out of here. Run. Gotta find a way out. This is bad. <laughs> 